Hi, my name is Abhi Deshmukh uh, and I am a program director for development at IBM. In today's session, I will take you through the new features in version 131 of IBM Operations Analytics Log Analysis. The new features uh, in Log Analysis 131 are around six areas. Um, the first one is our support for role-based access control. We also have support for configuring alerts in real time and anomaly detection. We have support for Logstash uh, 142 uh, and we have improved the way this integrates and installs. For long term storage, we have support for Cloudera Hadoop. Uh, we have great analytics for service desks, including IBM Control Desk, Remedy, and ServiceNow. And we are very happy to share uh, some new insight packs some of them from IBM and some from partners uh, that will provide additional value out of the box. We will now uh, look at the new features in role-based access control. This capability is essentially new in uh, log analysis 131. And what we have done here is we have provided the ability for an administrator to configure uh, users and roles. Uh, and the permissions uh, that can be provided as part of this capability is on data sources. So a user can have multiple roles and a role can have permissions on one or more data sources. The users and roles and permissions are managed via the user interface and we have support for um, LDAP authentication and specifically authentication support for IBM directory uh, also known, known as uh, Tivoli Directory and Microsoft Active Directory. The uh, user actions uh, for auditing are available and a dashboard will be provided. For alerts, uh, we have made substantial progress since version 1.2.0.3. Uh, in general, with alerts, uh, we have the ability during real-time data ingestion to uh, evaluate one or more uh, user specified conditions and when these conditions are evaluated and a match happens one or more actions can be taken these actions can be um, actions for email alerts or executing custom scripts or logging or indexing the diagram uh, on this slide indicates the logical data flow uh, from the input data sources which uh, can have log data from multiple applications or metric data or ticket data and this data then flows into IBM log analysis server uh, as part of the ingestion pipeline where you check for alert conditions and then take alert actions. The alert configuration uh, is user um, uh, is available via a user interface and um, as I said earlier uh, there are multiple methods or multiple actions that can be configured. Um, some of the more interesting ones, of course, are the ability to execute a shell scripts or batch files um, so that you can, for example, log a ticket in a help desk system. Or um, we also have REST APIs which are available so developers can take additional custom actions uh, via the REST APIs. Emails are um, uh, fairly uh, email conf email email alerts are fairly configurable and you can specify uh, a recipient list from email address SMTP server uh, the subject prefix um, this works with regular SMTP servers as well as with secure SMTP servers so so this allows you to proactively essentially uh, generate alerts uh, in real time as you um, see specific error tokens in your um, data stream we have um, a few out of the box uh, alert conditions one is the simplistic keyword match uh, where you match a pattern um, which could be based on apache solar uh, for search based uh, query syntax the other is um, a keyword match based on thresholds so for example raising an alert if you find that you have a number of matches for a keyword and that exceeds a specific threshold uh, within a specified time window. Uh, additional um, alert conditions that you can configure are co-occurrence match which is the ability to raise an alert when two or more 
keyword match across different data sources within a specified time window or a keyword match with deduplication so for example if you have multiple connection errors that happen within a 30 window 30 minute window then you may want to raise only one alert for the first occurrence uh, so with this capabilities of alert conditions uh, anomaly detection and, and alerts uh, become fairly configurable and uh, very useful as well the next uh, support we have is for logstash 142 um, we as you may know already support logstash uh, as one method of data ingestion uh, the other two methods are the uh, Tivoli log file agent and the rest apis in 131 uh, we have bundled and we now support logstash 142 uh, we have uh, improved the installation process the integration process and also the integration of the output plugin uh, so the logstash uh, server can directly write to log analysis without um, and avoiding uh, EIF receiver hop so this makes for faster processing as logstash ingests data processes it and then sends it across to log analysis for further um, indexing and so on in this uh, version of log analysis uh, we also now support cloudera hadoop uh, with cloudera hadoop you can essentially store hundreds of terabytes and leverage the hdfs platform uh, as you may know we already support ibm big insights in uh, uh, version 1.3 of log analysis and we are very pleased to now also support cloudera 5.3.x hadoop ticket analytics is another area that we have uh, uh, started um, uh, our work and um, with ticket analytics we use uh, ibm's text analytics uh, on unstructured data right so information available as unstructured data in summary description engineer notes uh, is is analyzed and we use it to identify hotspots uh, to delve deeper and perform a deeper analysis of the ticket uh, to help with faster um, problem diagnosis as well as to improve end user satisfaction the help desk systems that we support are IBM control desk service now and remedy ticket analytics is available as a add-on uh, for log analysis uh, and is available on passport advantage in this release we are particularly pleased to share a large number of insight packs that have now been released as part of uh, log analysis 131 uh, these include IBM's uh, middleware components for MQ and message broker Microsoft SharePoint exchange SQL server Active Directory Tivoli storage manager IBM uh, DS 8000 IBM AIX and IBM HTTP servers as well as HP live site and team site applications uh, out of the box inside packs also uh, have support for Oracle databases Oracle Siebel as well as VMware ESX hypervisor these inside packs will allow customers to ingest data from uh, log files from these applications and have ready to use saved searches and dashboards for deeper analytics what I'd like to do now is to share some references with you uh, for uh, log analysis 131 uh, the product website the product documentation the uh, and there is also a trial download that is available for a period of 90 days and I would also recommend that you look at our uh, community for uh, 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 IT operations analytics developers which has multiple uh, resources um, to extend uh, our operations analytic solutions you have a getting started section as well as forums and blogs uh, with this uh, I'd like to thank you for your time um, and to summarize very quickly in log analysis 131 we have six key features that we have introduced role based access controls alerts log stash support for cloud era Hadoop the service desk extension and the new insight packs i thank you very much for your time and i look forward to talking to you again thank you